Hello friends. I welcome you all to TechMite. I hope you all are doing well. You all might have heard about the word cybercrime. Today's video is all about it. Let's see what cybercrime is. Cybercrime is broadly defined as any illegal activity that involves a computer, another digital device or a computer network. Cybercrime includes common cybersecurity threats like social engineering, software vulnerability exploits and network attacks. But it also includes criminal acts like activist protests, harassment, and extortion, money laundering, and more. Cybercrime targets both individuals and companies. Typically, attackers target businesses for direct financial gain or to sabotage or disrupt operations. They target individuals as part of large-scale scams or to compromise their devices and use them as a platform for nefarious activity. The U.S. Department of Justice identifies three types of cybercrime in situations where a computer is the target of the attack, for example, a data breach on a corporate network. A computer is the weapon for an attack, for example, a denial-of-service attack. A computer is an accessory to a criminal act, for example, digital identity theft which leads to theft of funds from a bank account. Let me tell you a few examples of cybercrime. In 2014, U.S. retailer Home Depot's point-of-sale systems were breached. Attackers stole 50 million personal credit cards, and for some time any credit card swiped at Home Depot stores was captured and its details compromised by the attackers. In 2013 to 2016, Yahoo experienced a data breach which resulted in the theft of 3 billion user accounts. For some of these accounts, the attackers got hold of private information and passwords, which could be used to access user accounts in other online services. Much of this data is available today, either free or for a price, on the dark web. In 2016, the largest ever distributed denial-of-service attack took place, which used over 1 million connected devices in the Internet of Things, which were compromised by the attackers due to software vulnerabilities. The attack caused outages in the global domain name system and popular services including Twitter, Netflix, and PayPal. In 2017, the WannaCry attack, allegedly launched by North Korea, unleashed a type of ransomware, which not only locks down content on user devices, but also rapidly spreads itself. WannaCry infected 300,000 computers around the world, and users were asked to pay hundreds of dollars to decrypt and restore their data. Let me tell you some vectors that are the primary method cyber criminals use to conduct criminal activities. Browser hijacking. Attacks like cross-site scripting can cause malicious code to run in a user's browser. This can result in session hijacking, drive-by downloads and other illicit activity carried out in the user's browser without their consent. Botnets. A botnet is a collection of internet-connected devices infected by malware that allow hackers to control them. Cyber criminals use botnets to instigate botnet attacks, which include malicious activities such as credentials leaks, unauthorized access, data theft and distributed denial-of-service attacks. Ransomware. Ransomware is malware that encrypts data on a local machine and demands a ransom to unlock it. There are hundreds of millions of other types of malware that can cause damage to end-user devices and result in data exfiltration. Phishing. Phishing involves sending misleading messages via email or other channels that cause internet users to provide personal information, access malicious websites or download malicious payloads. Fraud and identity theft. Fraud is the theft of funds by an attacker pretending to be the owner of an account or using stolen cards or credentials. Identity theft is a related concept and involves compromising a user's online accounts to enable an attacker to perform actions in their name. Flood attacks. Most modern flood attacks are distributed denial-of-service attacks, which leverage a botnet to hit a website or organization with massive amounts of fake traffic. Flood attacks can be targeted at the network layer, choking an organization's bandwidth and server resources, or at the application layer, bringing down a database or email server for example. That's all for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also do follow us on Instagram. Thanks.